And did you know that writing with your voice is around 300% faster than writing on your keyboard? It's also much more ergonomic. You can easily avoid the wrist pain often associated with these long typing sessions. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through five different free dictation or voice typing apps that you can start using today to maximize your productivity. And at the end, I'm going to give you some of my extra tips that will allow you to get the most out of your dictation experience. So make sure to stick around. The first dictation tool that we will inspect is Apple Dictation. I'm working on a Mac, so I'm using it every day. So how do you set it up? First, you just go to keyboard and then here you will see dictation and over here you can pick the language and you can switch between two different languages. As you can see, I have English and Polish over here and I will show you how to switch between these languages in a second. Then you just pick the microphone source and the shortcut you are going to use for dictation. So for me, it's to press either command key twice. I have found that this shortcut is working really well, but you can uh, press uh, other keys as well, or you can even customize it and just choose the shortcut that will work the best for you. But that's not all. There is also uh, another way to uh, use uh, voice commands on Mac. You just go to accessibility and to voice control and over here you can, uh, the voice control allows you to use your voice to edit text and interact with your computer even when you are on calls. So this is a much more advanced feature where you can use commands to control your whole uh, computer and there are many commands that you can use. But if you are looking for a pure dictation experience and voice recognition experience, uh, the dictation uh, on your keyboard here is going to be way better. I have experimented, uh, experimented a lot with this and I have found that uh, just using dictation is going to give you way better results in terms of quality of uh, the voice recognition. Here are the main commands that you can use to use dictation on your Mac. You can just uh, check out uh, these uh, commands. I will put the link in the description. So as you can see, there is a lot of stuff that you can do. You can even create a large center dot and you can format your text. So you can just say new line numeral, Roman numeral, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, caps on, caps off. So this is really great. Um, but uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a way uh, where you can just avoid memorizing all of these commands. And this whole thing is going to be just happening automatically and your whole text is going to be formatted pretty well. Okay, so right now we are in one of my favorite word processors for Mac, which is called OmWriter. And then I just press the command key twice. And right now we can already start dictating. And you can see that the quality of voice recognition is pretty high, especially if you do your best to pronounce words clearly so that it can easily understand you. Okay, so that's the dictation experience on the Mac. And then I will uh, also show you how to switch the language. You can just click on this icon over here. I teraz mogę mówić po polsku. So you just click on that little icon and you can switch to the other uh, language. Next, you can use dictation on Windows 11 as well, and it's working pretty well. However, I'm working on a Mac here, but I'm going to show you how to set it up really fast. And it's also free, just like uh, dictation on the Mac. So you just uh, go to uh, the settings on Windows and then time and language and speech. And then under microphone, you just select get started. And then you will go through a quick speech uh, 
wizard, uh, just to make sure that your microphone is working properly. We are going to uh, talk about the microphone setup in a moment as well. And then you just set up your speech recognition. So you just select Windows uh, logo key plus Control and S and this uh, speech recognition is going to be now working for you. So here is a graphic that uh, shows how to set it up. So you just go to accessibility and then uh, speech and then just using that keyboard shortcut, you can start dictating and using voice typing in Windows, basically in any text field that you will encounter. And similar to the experience on the Mac, there are also many uh, voice recognition commands that you can use uh, in Windows. Over here you can see common speech recognition commands. I'm going to include this link in the description as well, so you can just uh, check it out. Uh, this really requires some training, but if you are willing to put in the work, you can really uh, start uh, voice typing like a pro. The next free app you can use for voice typing is Microsoft Word. Almost anyone has Microsoft Word installed on their computer. And of course you can use it on both Mac and Windows. So how do we use dictation over here? You just uh, go to this um, icon over here that says dictate. Then you just click on it. And right now we are already in the dictation experience and you can see that it's working pretty well. I can just say whatever I want and it's going to be typing way faster than if I were typing on a keyboard. Okay, and then you can just pause dictation over here, but you can just say pause dictation as well. And you have these settings over here. So you can see that you can choose uh, different languages and you can choose the microphone uh, input and you even have uh, auto punctuation. I have experimented a little bit with this auto punctuation, but it's not working really great uh, just yet. So basically that's the experience on Microsoft Word. Another free dictation app that is absolutely great is in Google Docs. So to activate it, you just go to tools and then voice typing or you can simply uh, select uh, command shift s and right now we are already in the dictation experience so this is working really great over here you uh, can just switch between various languages as well so this is extremely helpful and the quality of the voice recognition here is uh, just amazing so the favorite thing for me to do is to just uh, use this uh, distraction free mode and then just go into uh, full screen so then I have a completely focused writing experience and right now I can just um, use that uh, shortcut, command shift S. And right now I can use dictation to write extremely fast while being completely focused. And in just 30 minutes or so I can write around 1000 words. You can see that it's not perfect and it all really depends on the quality of your voice, basically of your microphone and the way in which you pronounce uh, the words. So it's not going to be always perfect, but I'm going to show you a way to uh, make it way better. The final dictation tool I'm going to show you is the Gboard, the um, Google keyboard, which is on uh, available on a mobile device. So over here, uh, it's uh, absolutely great. Uh, let me just uh, show you how it works. You just uh, tap on this um, button right here that uh, is the microphone button. And right now we can already start speaking and I have found that the quality of uh, dictation here is actually way better than if you were using uh, almost any of these other tools that I have shown you. So if you want to concentrate on writing 
a longer piece of work, it's actually really great to just write it on your phone. And you can also hook up an external microphone and then the quality of voice recognition is going to be even better. And there is something really fantastic here with this uh, G-Bird. Basically, if you just tap this microphone uh, icon twice, then it's going to just listen to you forever. So you don't have to uh, just com continuously uh, tap on this button. So you just tap it twice. And right now it's going to be turned on forever. So you can just relax and focus on your dictation experience. This is absolutely great if you want to write something on the go when you are traveling or when you are just simply walking around uh, in the park and you want to uh, just write a quick note. I hope that by now you have recognized the power of dictation and voice typing. So now I'm going to give you some extra tips on how to make it even better. So the first tip is to really get a good microphone. Actually, I have experimented with many microphones and I have settled on just the mic MacBook Pro microphone because it's really great at voice recognition, but you can use uh, anything else that will record your voice very clearly. So first off, you would just go to uh, the sound settings. You can do it on your Mac or Windows. And then you would just go to input. And over here, you can check the microphone level. So for example, here for the MacBook Pro, I have the input volume uh, set to max. And you can see that uh, it's working pretty well, but if you really want to test it out, then you would just test the quality of your recording. You can go to a free app like Audacity and then just uh, select uh, preferences and select the microphone that you want to test. And make sure to just uh, experiment with these input levels as well. And then you just hit record and right now, this is already recording and you can see that the quality of the audio recording is pretty good. And then you can just check it out uh, to make sure that the voice recognition uh, is really great and that the quality of the recording is pretty great. And right now this is already recording and you can see the next tip is to make sure that you are recording in a quiet environment. Adjust the mic volume, choose the right microphone test the quality of the recording, but then make sure to be in an environment that is more or less quiet so that uh, the, there will be no background noise or the level of the background noise is going to be pretty low. So the final mm, tip is to just improve the quality of the uh, dictation with um, the use of artificial intelligence. So this is that quick note that I have uh, taken on my uh, phone. It's actually really great to have all of your notes synced across the devices so you can uh, always access them. So then uh, you can see that there um, is a lack of punctuation here and perhaps uh, some of these words were not completely recognized. So then you just grab it and you go to a tool like uh, ChatGPT and then you just say something like fix grammar and punctuation. And then you just paste it in and you can see that now it has been completely fixed. So if you engage in a longer dictation session, this is a perfect way to make sure that uh, this whole thing that you have uh, dictated is going to be working. Uh, I mean, that it's going to be uh, with punctuation and grammar intact. Okay, so don't do this manually. Just throw it into ChatGPT and you will have all of the main uh, the, the general meaning, but uh, it's going to be way better and basically almost ready uh, for publishing. Of course, you will need to still edit it <laughs> to make sure that it's all good. So this is it. Uh, five different free dictation apps uh, that uh, you can use on Windows, on the Mac, on your phone, uh, and uh, some of these extra tips. Uh, I hope they were helpful. Uh, so uh, 
I'm going to see you in the next video and make sure to check the description uh, to get us your hands on a really great guide to top uh, AI uh, marketing tools. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and uh, just have a great day.